Hi, here are some questions that are like questions you'll see on tomorrow's quiz. And we're going to go through them really quick. And I haven't done any of them, so maybe I'll screw up. It'll be kind of exciting. So, how many molecules of boron can be produced from 15 grams of magnesium? Start with what you're given, which is 15 grams of magnesium. Convert that to moles first by dividing by molar mass. That is 24.3 grams for magnesium. Then use the mole ratio. Magnesium is a 3, so 3 moles of magnesium will always give us 2 moles of boron. And finally, you want to answer molecules. So multiply on top by Avogadro's number 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. One mole there. And when you plug it into your calculator, you'll get 15 times 2 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd divided by 24.3 divided by 3. And you get 2.47 times 10 to the 23rd. 2.48, we'll call it. And that'd be molecules of boron. Question number two. Uh, you have 22.5 grams of ethane and undergoing combustion. How many moles of carbon dioxide are produced? Okay, 22.5 grams of ethane. That is C3H8. First up is to divide by the molar mass. So you take 12 times 3 plus 8. And you get 44 for ethane. And then use the mole ratio to go from ethane, which is a 1, to carbon dioxide, which is a 3. So 1 ethane will give you 3 CO2s. And since this question says how many moles, that means you stop right there. No need to convert your moles to grams or anything else. Now take 22.5 times 3 divided by 44 and gets 1.53 moles of CO2. Finally, the last question says, find the number of grams of sugar required to produce 3.5 liters of carbon dioxide from the reaction described by the following equation. So 3.15 liters of CO2. First up is to get your liters back into moles by dividing by 22.4. Then use the mole ratio. We're going from liters of carbon dioxide, so that's two of them, two grams of this sugar. So you'd have one mole of sugar on top. Sorry, C6H12O6. Then you want your answer in grams, so put the molar mass of sugar right here on top. So 12 times 6 plus 16 times 6 plus 12. 180. And then multiply everything across. So you would take 3.15 times 180 divided by 22.4 divided by 2 and get 12.66 grams of sugar, C6H12O6. So there are three questions like the ones you'll see tomorrow and hopefully they helped you prepare for tomorrow's quiz. Bye!